All right, boys and girls, it's another box. This one says kitchen decorative, and it is heavy, 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 and it's a great big box. So Lord knows what we're gonna find in here. We're about to find out. What's going on guys? It's Jason Thrift Trader coming back to you with another video. In today's video, we go through another mystery box from the QBC Hoarder Storage Unit. It has tons of vintage kitchenware, some of it very collectible, some of it worth a lot of money. Make sure to hit subscribe, smash the bell so that you get notified when we post videos. Let's just get to it. There's that. And that, I think it's copper. Looks like copper. Looks like copper to me. I don't know. Oh, easy there. Whoops. Almost Easy. lost the cow. Okay, this is a... I don't know. That's pretty, though. Pretty stuff. No markings that I see. Who knows what we'll find. Ooh, look at these, Justin. Oh. These are pretty. Um, Royal Worcester Porcelain made in England. Hmm. What are they? I don't know. Put spices in them or something? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, got to be careful with this. Oh, ramekins. Uh, I can't read that, can y'all? Evesham M, made in England. Olives and grapes. What's this? She's broken. Gallery graphics. I got a washboard. Yep. Yep. Tablecloth. Yep. You make some pretty good music with that. <laughs> with a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> got some old cookie cuts. Cookie cutters and such. Doll hair auction, huh? Probably. Delta Blue, hand painted Holland. Just because it's bought from TJ Maxx does not mean at all that it isn't worth money because TJ Maxx is an outlet store for a lot of the higher end stores. Right. And a lot of this stuff is discontinued or it's vintage, you know. Um, so, potentially, Potential something there. Potential value there, huh? Potentially. Look at these, guys. Believe me, these things are worth good money. Let me see if I can read the brand here. Uh, Takahashi, Takahashi stainless. Uh, these are worth good money nice. as a set. We got two more of the little spice things or whatever they're oh, for. Yep. Yeah. Kitchen decor. Yeah. I'm looking for all of the, those. There's yeah. one basket. Yeah. This basket's made in China. <laughs> Nothing special about it. Oh, this is nice stuff. Take a look at that. Um, although that goes to a, a percolator, but this is not, and this is old, this is old stuff. What's that for, coffee? Yeah. Has a D on the bottom of it. Locomotive. Yep. Got a little coffee oh, or teacup. Yeah. There's yeah. another one in here. See no markings on this one. Yeah, they go, they go with this set here. Oh, we got a decorative wooden doll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's almost like they made a paddle out of. A, it's all really nice stuff. Made though. a doll out of a paddle. Look at this. This stuff's unused. Wow. Strawberry mint cider vinegar. Huh. I thought it was olive oil. Um. That's cider vinegar, and this one is uh, Fireball Whiskey. Company. No, no. <laughs> white wine, Tangelo white wine vinegar. Cooking wine. I don't know if that would still be good or not with that floaty stuff in it. Let me see. I guess probably. I guess the, fl the floaty stuff's supposed to be in it. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody didn't. I wonder what. Oh, it's for cooking. Yeah. If you knew what you were, you were doing in the kitchen, you probably know what to do with that. Ah, this is the lid to the thingy here. Maybe this is a percolator. Possibly. We got some table mat things right here. See? That are just bent up. Pumpkin barn. 
<laughs> Ooh, this, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, Look wow, that is pretty. Man, that's what they call Murano glass. Murano? Murano, yeah. Is that this called the co coloration? That's yeah. they call it that? Yeah. Learn and something every a, day. That's a, I guess a rooster or a hen. Looks like a swan or a... That or might a, be, yeah. Or something, or a peacock. I think it, ah. it looks like a peacock to me in the yeah. head. Yep, you're onto something. That's pretty cool. It's a cool gravy boat. Isn't that what it is, a gravy boat? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I maybe. think so. Maybe. Orange clove. Does the candle smell good? No. No, it doesn't smell like nothing? <laughs> I mean, it, it smells, but it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. good. <laughs> and then we got the old Betty Crocker four-speed mixer. Oh, uh, that's the paddle I was looking for. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Delft Blue hand-painted Holland. Now that... I feel like there's something missing, but maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it makes you wonder what that's for, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Very carefully remove this blanket. Ooh. Very carefully. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got get, some pretty. Getting down in some goodies. Getting, hey, this blanket might be worth it. It feels like it's... Yeah, it's poly. Just poly? Not cashmere? No, not cashmere. <laughs> cashmere blanket? Cashmere. <laughs> Who makes... As Papa would ask, how many cashmeres had to die? To make that blanket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. What's it gonna be? Oh, yes. Le. P what does that say? Le Persil? Persil? Le French? Persil? Is that French, perhaps? Perhaps. I'm looking for a maker. Corningware. Okay, this could be some major money. The print here? Yes, I've yeah. uh, yes, that some of that stuff oh. I've seen is worth a lot of money. I bet this is the whole just the whole set. I'm not sure what depends but, on but that. Persil Lesage. 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 That's more kerning ker kerning wear. Here's another one. This one's different. Ooh, this is Pyrex. Cool design on it. Yeah, the design is really what matters because some some designs are just very, very rare. What is this? These are nested pots of some sort. Um, oven proof universal potteries. Cambridge. Probably Cambridge, Ohio. Looks something, something like something I'd put some mashed taters and gravy in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be careful with that. That, okay. could be, that could be some money. We've got a whole cookie jar set in here. What the? Okay. Robitussin. <laughs> it was Tussin X. Yeah. It was Robitussin. <laughs> when we were kids, Jason, that's, that's what we, that was the cure for everything. You no. Broken arm, Robitussin. Let that Tussin get on down into the bone there. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. I can't read that because of TJ Maxx's sticker, so maybe we'll be able to see okay. on another one. My mom loves stuff like this. A rooster? Yes, yeah, she would buy that. Oh, yeah. Look I need here. to tell her to start getting on your auction channel and yeah. check we out got, some stuff. Oh, wow. We found all the pills. Was coffee. Okay. So, Talk. we got a whole bunch of these things. Okay, Jason, let's see. I'm going to get this in the corner over here. Go for it. This well, is old. This one even has a candy corn in it still. <laughs> oh, I just sold one of these. Exactly like it. Sunshine brand. I actually... Here, show them right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I actually sold one of these on eBay fairly recently for $40. Wow. Yeah. So well, somebody else can buy it for $40 and the candy corn comes for free. <laughs> I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll clean the candy corn out first. This is glass bait. Okay. This is glass bait. Pretty neat looking. It's, uh... That's nice. It's unmarked, but it's pretty. It's nice, yeah. Pretty stuff. Pretty stuff. It's valuable. And it's to some... To some degree, I know it is. Yep. And... I think the only thing we've got left in this box is a couple packs of old napkins and <laughs> a paper bunny. There you go. That's that.